happen to find uh, copies of Sonic Adventure 1 and Adventure 2 for Dreamcast. So I went ahead when I first came here to Japan. Yes, when I first came to Japan, I made it a point to get these two games. Yeah, these games were really, really good. I always thought that this was one of the better games. This is probably, I think, the best Sonic game ever released. Uh, as far as, like, the 3D games go, like, all the 2D games are pretty good. But anything after this game, I just really don't think it's good. So uh, I made sure I got this game, and it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. I picked up a Dreamcast, and never found the game. So I went out, and I went got this game, and I finished it. So, anyway... I was walking through Book Off, and I happened to find both of these. Uh, this game was actually really quite cheap. This was only about 500 yen. This game, on the other hand, was really expensive. I mean, it looks brand new this year, 3,000 yen. So I was really excited when I saw this. But yeah, it is very fantastic condition. You know, here, this, this thing is still in here. Yeah, there's there's really no problems with it. Um, I can't talk because of the guy. So there's a little bit of a crack. So maybe I can fix it. Yeah, sure, no problem. So he fixed it. And here's what the new game is going to look like. And I figured because I actually do really like Sonic, I figured I would go ahead and give this game a quick shot. Uh, I own it on Dreamcast in the United States, but I never actually played it. I I played it like once to see if it works, and then beyond that, I played it again. I that's one of my problems with a lot of games. I buy so many games, I say, okay, it works. Maybe I'll play them at some point. Never do. But this time, I'm actually going to play Sonic Adventure 2, the original Japanese version on Dreamcast. Um, I am extremely familiar with. Memorized, and it's really fun. But the few times I did play this, and like I checked it out to make sure it worked in the United States, I felt like the Dreamcast did not keep up. So let's go ahead and give this one here a shot. And when I first found my Dreamcast, the only game I could find was like nothing that I was really, really enjoyed. So I wanted to get Gauntlet Legends, and I found that it wasn't actually released in Japan. So I had to get a boot disc so I could actually play import games. This is like the first actual set of games I do really own for this time. By the way, I'm just like two sitting over there. I have a massive DVD player. If you can get one, I highly recommend getting one. Um, all right, so we're going to go ahead and get the camera ready. Let's go ahead and get ready for the game. All right. How this game go?